Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, guys. It's our last Dollar Tree haul for 2022. Uh, this is just, year has just come and gone like in a flash. But anyway, I did make it out to the Dollar Tree. Um, unlike last week when it was like four degrees outside, today it's like in the 50s. This is the weirdest weather. It's supposed to get up to 60 degrees next week. It's just crazy. One day we're freezing to death, the next day you kind of want to go out and have a picnic. <laughs> but anywho, I did get over to my Dollar Tree, and I was good. I only picked up one of these this time, of the Peach Haribos. These are a four-ounce bag. I love these gummies, you guys know. I get these all the time, but I was good. I just picked up one, and then I did pick up a pack of the Sugar Vanilla, Sugar Wafers of Vanilla, is what their label says, Sugar Wafer Vanilla. There we go. <laughs> and you get, I don't know, what do you get in here? 20 individual wrapped um, little sugar cookies. And I love these wafers, so these are great too. You want to stick them like in a lunch bag, somebody, if, you know, take to work, whatever. And I just love that they're all individual wrapped. Because you know, if you buy the long packs of these, like, and you don't eat them all at one time, like in the next day, they're just not even that good anymore. Unless, you, I don't know, you vacuum seal them or something. <laughs> but I love these because they're individually wrapped. Anyway, all right, let me show you what I did pick up that was still there on clearance. I picked up four more of these candy canes. I love these. These are really sturdy, all plastic candy canes. These are great to decorate outside with and stuff. Um, of course, they're just called decor, like they call everything there. But these are really nice and they're really long. So I got four more. I think I have, I don't know how many I have now. I think I have eight all together. But these are 50 cents a piece, so you can't beat that for these big, hard plastic um, candy canes. I can't even imagine what something like that would cost, like, in a craft store or, you know, like, Hobby Lobby or something like that. Because, you know, things like that can get quite pricey. I also got, oh no, I just dropped something on the back. Oh well. I got four more packs of these wire garland ties. You get 12 in there. I tell you guys all the time, I love these for DIYing. You can cut the pine down, use them for whatever you want to do. So I got four more, 50 cents a piece. Can't beat that. So I am going to put these away in my Christmas tote here and put these away for next year. So I have quite a few of those now, so I'm very excited that I got them for 50 cents. I also picked up two of these words. These, This one says, Happy Holidays. These are the wooden, they look like wooden ribbon. Um, they're really pretty, and of course, 50 cents, so I was happy with that, because I already, where did the other one go? I don't know, it fell down here behind, so, oh, here it is. I'm telling you, this room is a disaster still. Um, this one says, Season's Greetings, and you get two of each in here. Oh, no, no, I'm lying, there's three, it says so right there on top. I thought it was only two. Well, that's even a bigger bonus. I'm thinking I get two, I get three. But anyway, they're real nice, and the edges, you know, had that laser cut finish to them that darkened. So they're really, really pretty little um, tags to, you know, use in your DIYs. I think that is all I got as far as, ugh, I'm trying to move my knee here, as far as um, the Christmas stuff. Now these I saw when I first walked in, I thought these were so nice for $1.25. They have these in, they're just starting to get out the Valentine stuff, so I don't have like a ton of it, but I did pick up what new stuff that I found that I thought was really, really pretty, and I absolutely love these jars. They're really nice, and the top, if let me see if I can get it off, Ugh, they really seal nice. It has that nice plastic, I don't know if it's plastic, silicone, whatever it is, but it has a really nice seal on it. And, you know, just something like that alone, you would pay like a dollar twenty-five for a, a little decoration like that. So I thought that was great. And I love these jars. They've had these jars before. I can't remember what was on the top of these for the other ones, but I did pick up two of those. So let me set those up there. And I love this color pink. You know, it's not like that really bright pink, or it's not like the little baby pale pink. You could, though, actually use these for a little baby shower if you wanted to, like, put some little candies in on the tables or whatever. That would be absolutely adorable. You could even write the name on there. 
that would be a cute idea. But I just love these. So many more uses than just Valentine's. And then I picked up a set of the pot, pot holders and the towels. And I'm getting the impression that, <clears throat> excuse me, Dollar Tree's theme for Valentine's Day is going to be mostly gnomes because it is just exploding right now with these gnomes. But I thought this was just so cute. Look at these pot holders. They are 7x7. Seven seven. You get two of them in a pack. I mean, these aren't bad pot holders. I use these all the time. I mean, you wouldn't want to stand and hold a pot for, you know, a few minutes with it. But, I mean, as far as, like, when I did my Christmas cookies and everything, I just used the Dollar Tree pot holders, and they were just fine. The back of it is just, like, this really deep pinkish color. And, yeah, they are just so adorable. I'm trying to get this where the light shines on it right here so you can see them. But they're really nice. The prints are really nice. You know, sometimes Dollar Tree prints aren't all that great, but these are really, really cute. And here is the big oven mitt with this, that matches it, and that they're just, I love them. Let me stick my hand in there. Yeah, I love them. The back is just the pink again. But look how cute the little images are on there. They got the gnomes with their little valentines and just hearts and balloons and it's just they're just very festive you need a little festive after Christmas because you know it gets very blah once you get everything put away and here is the dish towel aren't they cute and you could you know a lot of people like to make pillows out of these these are 15 inches by 25 inches and this is called a heavyweight kitchen towel I don't know how heavy weight it is but <coughs> it's it's really just cute. I just hang these. I usually have one on my oven door, and then I have one of those Dollar Tree hangers on one of my drawers that I hang a towel on, and they're just really cute. So I got that set. They were putting out so much stuff. There's going to be more sets for Valentine's Day, not just the gnomes, because I did see them, but I didn't hang around long enough for, you know, I don't want to bug the lady on packing stuff. <laughs> You really want to see, but I didn't want to go that far and say, hey, could you open that box next? Well, here are some of the little plush. They're called Fuzzy Friends. And look at these little guys. How cute are these to decorate with for Valentine's Day? Um, I was never really big into gnomes. It kind of depends on how they look, I guess. But these are just really fun. He's got a nice shiny little um, heart up there on the top and his little feet. But they're cute. I love that. So I got that one, and then I got this one, too. This one's just in a lighter pink, and there goes that fire alarm. <laughs> it wouldn't be a video without it, I swear. Those guys are so busy all the time. But, ooh, I just dropped my poor little note. But he's done it in really pretty gray. I love the gray um, body that they have on this one. And then he's got the cute little nose. And the beards are pretty nice, too. I was, you know, really surprised. Because, you know, sometimes they fall short on their little beards and things. But these are really, really cute. And he's got a really nice light pink heart. Or she. He, she. Gnomey. Now they have these bigger gnomes. Now these, I think, can use a little bit of help. But these are the really tall ones. But I actually want to do a little bit more embellishing on these guys. Because they just seem just a little off. You know what I mean? It just They just seem like they could be so much cuter. But he's got a nice, like, sweater-looking, you know, hat. This one's really pretty. Um, and the beards on these aren't bad. They all need to be straightened out because, you know, they were just crammed in the, the case of them there. So I got this one. How tall are these guys? Does it say on here? No, they're just calling these gnome decor. Um trying to grab my ruler here without knocking anything else on my floor. So these are, they are over 12 inches. They're about 12 and a half inches tall from the top to, or the, from the top of their hat to the bottom. So I got that one and then I picked up this one because I just liked the little sequence hat on this one. I thought that one was cute. But this is a girl because she's got her nice long braids and they're actually very nicely made. But this is just, it's just, I don't know, it just kind of falls short on this part. So we're going to have to figure out something, maybe some heart embellishments, something on these little guys to make them just a little bit cuter than they are. And then this is the other one that I picked up. I just love the hats, though. 
Look at that hat on this one. And this one's done in the gray. They all had different colored bodies and stuff. And I like that they all have, you know, the nice arms and the little hands on them. So you could actually, I wonder if we could probably make these little guys hold something too. If we pin their hands together and maybe hold some flowers or some little hearts or something. But again, the hat's real nice. The beard is real nice and everything. But the rest of it is just... I don't know, it's just a little too plain. It needs a little something. So I want to see what else they get out for Valentine's, you know, what kind of like ribbons, embellishments, things like that that they get out. And maybe we can do something really cute with these guys. But they weren't even halfway done getting their stuff out over there. And I'm not rushing them whatsoever, believe me. Um, it's kind of hard to shop for Valentine's Day already. But like things like this, you know that these guys are going to fly off the shelves once people find them. Now these they had last year too. They've had these I think for a couple of years honestly. But we have our little, I don't know what they're calling each one of these. But this is like a little ice cream sundae I'm guessing. He's got a straw there. And they're just adorable. That's going to have to get ironed out too. Like I said, they have these things. There's so many packed in one case that they just all get squished. But these are just called Fuzzy Friends. Um, and they had these in with the... Valentine's stuff um, but that one he's real real cute here comes the fire truck any second now guys I think it's coming this way maybe not <laughs> so I got that and then they have this donut that has like the pink frosting and sprinkles on it these are just so cute to stick in with your Valentine decorations or birthday parties these would be great for birthday parties and all kinds of you know decorating not just for Valentine's Day even Easter you could use these little guys. And then they have this cute little heart, little candy heart. Looks like he's chocolate on the outside. Um, but yeah, they don't have any special names for any of these. They are just all called just fuzzy friends. Um, and that's it. And they all got their little hands. And you could embellish these up a little more too if you'd want to. I don't really think these need it. These are just really cute. And then we have our cupcake here. He's really squished. Try to get you back into shape here. Let me roll you around a little bit. There we go. And he's got a nice little heart up here that's falling over now. But there you go. It's a little cupcake. Oh, look how pretty the top is there. But the face does, the faces on these are just darling. I love them all. So I want to use some of these up here on my shelves that I decorate in my background over there. I think they'll look really, really cute. And then I think the last thing that I got that was new here today, trying not to go crazy getting things, um, just waiting for the new stuff to come out here. But I did pick up one of these, uh, what are they calling? They're just calling it a container, of course. <laughs> but I love these. I have a bunch of these that I use for Christmas that they make for the Christmas cookies. But they had a couple different prints. I didn't feel like prying them all apart. They were actually on the floor like, stacked up like four feet high and it was hard enough just to get this one out of there so i'll have to check and see what other ones they have next time i go but i really like that one and then i really that's a nice you know the little scalloped lids that go on them and uh, i don't know how what size these are it doesn't say you know like how many quarts it would hold or anything like that but you guys have probably seen all these and i love these for like christmas cookies i use quite a few of these this year that they had in the Christmas prints but that is it as far as what I got new here this week I'm gonna go out and grab little P and bring him in and I'm gonna head back out to Dollar Tree the beginning of next week after the holiday here and um, they should have most of the Valentine stuff out I like to go a couple times a week now again because you guys know like these cute little gnomes and things like this are probably going to go really fast. Alright, so I'm going to finish putting this stuff away here and then I'll bring little P in for his visit. Alright, P, you ready to go? You diving in? No, you going in normal today. Alright, we'll turn around here and say hi to everybody. Say happy Friday, guys. Happy New Year. It's coming in a couple days. You excited? No, see, people set off fireworks and scare me half to death at night. But <laughs> they're pretty good. As long as they're in their cages, they seem to not freak out too much. Because he goes to bed early. It's pretty much not long after it gets dark. He gets covered up 
in its own little own little world there, huh? Yeah. I brought you in a brand new piece of yucca wood if you want to play with it. Look at you. <laughs> Eating pomegranates again this morning, weren't ya? That's his favorite thing right now. I wish they came out all year long. He just loves to pull those seeds out and squeeze the juice out, don't you, P? Yeah. Do you want your yucca wood? Do you? Do you want this? Yeah, you look up there. That's you. You see you up here in the camera? Look at there. You know? Look what I got. It's a brand new one. Yay. New yucca wood for Christmas. <laughs> he loves him a brand new piece. Oh, no. See, I got your big piece. Now you got two little pieces. Well, maybe we'll save this one. Oh, or you want that one. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I take this one? Huh? I go broke on Yucca Wood if I let you have them every day. I try to just save them for him now when he comes in here to give him something to do. Because he could go through a whole bag. I don't remember what they cost a bag that I get them. I think I got them. I think I got them on Amazon. Did I get them on Amazon or did I get them on Chewy? I don't remember. One of the two. Probably Amazon. <clears throat> Because the parrot store hasn't had them in quite a while. Huh. <laughs> Is that fun? Go, P, go. Good. You have fun. Do you have any New Year's resolutions that you want to thing? Like maybe you won't throw any coffee cups on the ground this year or. You won't chew on any of the woodwork in the house, or <laughs> any any resolutions for next year, Pay? No, I don't blame you. Maybe just to chew more yucca wood, or eat more pomegranates. Man, you are going to town on that one today. I don't think you had one last... Oh, you didn't want one last time when we were in here, did you? And a lot of people are still asking me why I don't ever bring any of my other parrots in here. But like I always try to tell everybody, there, Peeps, you know, he's pretty much up for anything. The other ones, when I bring them in here, there's just so much stuff, and they're not used to being in here, um, that they just get scared, and they just want to fly up on top of the curtain rod or just they just panic and they fly so I don't bring them in here but if anybody wants to see the rest of my parrots if you go to the description box below the video I have the link to my crazy animal house channel where I I did do a video introducing all my parrots if you guys want to see that huh but they don't like it in here they're not cool like you I don't even know if I could bring Rosie and Cooper in here my Indian ring neck and my son Conyer. I don't think they would be happy in here either. No, I don't. And those guys, they have to go together wherever they go because they're like little lovebirds, those two. Well, what do you think, P? <laughs> the sun's out. It's warm outside. You should be happy today. Are you happy? Yeah? All right. Well, I'm glad you're happy. You probably want to go back out there by your daddy, huh? See, I was just chilling out there. Huh? Daddy's sitting in the recliner, and I was just sitting there chilling out. And then you come and take me. <laughs> yeah. He's so cute. Are you going to tell everyone? Oh, can I pick you up? No. See, here we go with the I don't want to come, I don't want to leave thing. Come on, you want to go back out? Step up. No. At least you're not trying to bite my finger off today. No. 
the oh yeah, just scratch my feathers. Yeah. You're such a little stinker. Are you a little stinker? Oh, now you're going to bite me because I'm petting your feathers? You probably got pin feathers back there I don't see. Oh, yeah, you do. You got some new feathers coming in. Yeah, they're like little sticks. Huh, until that casing comes off. Your feathers always look pretty. My Indian ringneck, he just went through one heck of a molt where he lost all of his, a lot of his old feathers and all the new ones are coming in. And the whole top of his head just looked like little clear tubes, like little sticks until that, that tubing, you know, that casing comes off. And now his head's getting all pretty again. But boy, he molted really good. Yeah, you don't ever seem to molt like that. No. You lose a few, get a few. All right, we're going to let everybody go. Tell everybody have a great weekend and have a very, very happy new year. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Are you going to tell everybody? You're done. That's it. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.